All right, what we see here is a close-up of the Sideman 5000's tempo wheel. Sideman has one job to do, and that's to play dance standards. And here we are listening to the rumba, and it's not too fast of a tempo and not too slow. The Sideman 5000 was made by Wurlitzer, and it is an example of one of the earliest commercially available drum machines with its housing off so we can see the beautiful electronics inside and um, a big part of this machine for me has been repairing it because it does get broken and a big part of my career has been to share that process with people on the internet so if you want to learn about it you can go visit the YouTube videos and I'll tell you about how vacuum tubes work now the one that you're seeing in the museum is missing its amplifier because some parts need to be replaced and it's also missing its beautiful big old loudspeaker which you see here um, finding the parts can take a bit of time and it's a bit of a chase i did one time need to get in touch with electronic musician moby so that i could buy one of his old drum machines and use it for spare parts uh, which was really useful. So yeah, this is a work that gets traveled and circulated and goes in exhibitions and it is often breaking. It's heavy, unwieldy, I need to fix it. But it was built at a time where you were supposed to fix your technique and you're supposed to get your instruments and whatnot serviced so it can happen. It takes a bit of time sometimes to find the parts but I do have a service manual and it is something that can be fixed unlike our little drum machines today which we're just supposed to replace once they get busted.